This concept of trapping the golf ball is a really interesting one. It's a funny one. If you talk to any golfers about trapping the ball, most of them will understand the principle, the concept of it. I'm sure the scientists would prove us wrong and prove differently that as the club comes down to hit the golf ball, we don't really trap it against the turf. The ball will come up off the turf. But the concept and the feeling for a golfer is that we're trapping the ball against the turf and that's springing the ball off. Like I say, the scientists will disagree, but the purists and the golfers, that's certainly the feeling we're trying to get. And I think there's something useful in this that if you don't feel like you're trying to trap the ball, at least trying to trap it, the risk is that you're trying to scoop it. So a golfer that's scooping the ball is the ball is here, the club is coming down and actually hitting the ball on the way up, effectively lifting it off the turf. Now, if you've been playing from a tee peg or from the semi rough, you might have been able to scoop the ball off the turf. But as soon as the ball is on a tight lie, you're never gonna be able to do that. If the ball is on a tee, you can come from beneath it and hit it on the way up. If the ball is on the turf, you come from beneath it, you've now hit the ball fat. So ultimately what we want the club to be trying to do is to hit the ball on the way down. So we hit the ball and then we hit the turf afterwards. So the club is high, ball and a divot. So consider where you take divots. Firstly, you probably should be taking divots, certainly with all your shorter iron, six iron down to wedges, you should be taking a divot. But importantly, we want the divot to be after the golf ball. You can see the divots I've taken today already during this video series. I'm trying to take a divot after each ball. If I was to take a divot from before the golf ball, you'll see the difference in the shot. It won't go very far. My body weight stayed on the back foot and I couldn't efficiently and effectively follow through. That definitely was not trapped. If I focus on trying to trap the ball more, ball and more turf, I get the sensation that I'm leaning into my lead side a bit more, my chest, my head, my body is coming more forwards, I'm gonna hit down. So I've got an eight iron here, and a good sensation of trying to trap the golf ball is how low can I hit my eight iron? If I want to get on my left side and try and keep this ball flight down as much as possible, I should in effectively trap the golf ball. So I've really squeezed that ball out low. Now you still saw a nice big divot, but the divot happened from after the golf ball, not before it. So try and practice trapping the ball when you're on a practice ground. You can see divots, you can see turf, listening for the sound, watching that nice low penetrating ball flight. We don't want anything behind the ball, we don't want anything fat, we don't want anything scoopy. That's definitely not the feeling of trapping the ball that we're after.